this iPad for quite a while now. It's it's an old iPad. I cannot even update it to the latest firmware, like the 10 point something firmware now. I cannot update this thing, but this thing can do something that the new iPads can't. Let me show you. Mm. That color grading is really nice. It's better than Sam Calder. Yeah. Yeah. Told you it can do something that new iPads can. So yeah, today I'm gonna teach you color correction and color grading in Final Cut Pro and how I did the color grading in that video. Let's go! Yo, what is up guys, so welcome back to another video. My name is Migi, and for those who still doesn't know me, I'm an amateur filmmaker and editor, but I'm an overall badass, and I love coffee. So here today, we're gonna do some color grading and some color corrections, because when you're shooting video, you don't know, sometimes you're underexposing or overexposing a shot. So here we're going to use our waveforms in color correcting our video. So in Final Cut Pro, you just press Command 7. And there you go, you see your waveform. We have lots of options for this one. You can use your histogram, you can use your vector scope, or just like me, I'm using this waveform with an RGB overlay. I prefer the RGB overlays because I can see which colors I will introduce to the shot. So here we have the first footage. As you can see, there are some clippings on top. I think this is this part right here where we lose detail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a correction to it. So here I just added a color board. So we have four sliders in this side for our correction so this is the global slider right here it affects the shadows to midtones and we have this three right here so this is the shadows this is the dark parts of your image this is the highlights this is the bright parts of your image and this is the midtones this is everything in between so as you can see our highlights, the bright parts of our image are clipping. So what we're gonna do is lower it. I like my images and my footages to be around 70 to 80%. There you go. And I think it's too bright. I think it's still too bright. I want my darks to be dark. So we're just gonna lower the shadows a little bit there and the mid-tone just a little bit. As you can see, it already added some colors to our shot. So next, we're gonna check everything. We're just gonna scrub through this image if there's like some clipping going on. And I think we're good. So let's go to the next shot. This shot is fairly good, fairly well exposed, but I can see some clipping right here. So next is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do, we're gonna put the correction, and then we're just gonna pull that down. And we'll pull this a little bit, and this a little bit, and let's just scrub through it again. If there's another clipping, and I think this is now well exposed. And let's go to the third one, and it's the same. We're gonna do the same thing. To the third one. There you go, we're gonna lower it a bit around right there. This right here. 
and our midtones a little bit. As you can see, there's no more clipping. There. So that's how you color correct your images. I'm using this waveform a lot when I'm using videos because I never trust my eyes in what I see. It's never true. It's better that you rely on the waveforms or your histogram. So when you shoot or when you edit, always use the histogram. So next we're gonna grade our footages. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an adjustment layer on top. I'm gonna put the link in my description so you can download your adjustment layer as well. When I color grade my videos, if I like a custom look to it, if I like it, let's say if I want it to be cinematic and stuff, sometimes I just use my color curves, color reels, or use saturation curves if I have time. But most of the time what I'm using is MLOT by Motion VFX. So it gives me the power and control to adjust my lookup table, basically your LUTs. So here we're gonna load the custom LUT. So I'm gonna use Cine2, which is free. I'm gonna link this also in the description so you will have it. So there you go. See the change in color, the dark are getting dark and it looks more cinematic. It has this effect. And as you can see, our histogram is just over the zero line before it clips. I think we graded these images perfectly, as you can see there. And the good thing about MLOT by Motion VFX is it's really customizable. You can have your highlights adjusted, your midtones, your shadows, the contrast, saturation, and hues. You can also even add grain to it monochrome, blend mode, auto animate, but I'm not using all of this stuff because I'm just adjusting the intensity most of the time. So let's see the difference. So I'm gonna turn this thing off and I'm gonna turn this thing on again so you can see the difference. There you go. It looks more cinematic, more punch. So that's how you color grade and color correct your image. See you in the next video. Capiche?